Hey guys, welcome back. So we're gonna do a makeup tutorial today using a few new products, specifically my new child. Um, anybody who knows me in person knows that when this pal palette got announced, I screamed and knew that immediately I needed it. Um, and it has taken me five months since it's released to get a hold of it, but I finally have this palette. So we're gonna be using this trial today and probably every day for the next like six months because I'm that excited to have it. So, <laughs> um, I don't know what exactly look we're gonna come up with today. I know that I'm going, um, my boyfriend's coming over in um, an hour, hopefully like an hour and a half to two hours um, because you know, I want to actually devote time to this palette and give it the attention it deserves. Um, but we'll see what we come up with before he gets here. So let's just jump right in so we're not rambling and let's do this. Okay, so first we're going in with the ColourPop Brow Boss Pencil just to quickly fill in, you know, shape our brows, all that jazz. Alright, and then here we are just filling um, our brows in with powder. Um, I've told you guys before, but I just use a shade from the Tartlet and Bloom palette as my brow powder since my brows are naturally pretty dark. And then we're just going to carve out the brow bone, clean up any like, you know, hairs that, you know, should probably be plucked, but ain't nobody got time for that in quarantine. Um, I'm just using the NYX eyeshadow base in nude, but I've used that concealer and pretty much any other product that, you know, will do the job. All right. So like I said in the intro, I had absolutely no idea what look I was gonna do before I sat down to film this. Um, as you'll see later in the outro, I am absolutely obsessed with the look that I came up with, um, but this is just me staring at shades, trying to figure out what the actual hell I'm going to do. Because I don't play around with color very often, but I had to do something for this one. All right, so we started pretty simple. Obviously, I needed to do a transition shade. So we picked up the shade Tanacon and just threw that um, all throughout our crease, pretty much just creating a base um, while I was still trying to figure out what other colors we were gonna dive into. They all looked so fun that I it was so hard for me to decide. So then we decided to just rip it like a band-aid and go straight into flaming hot um does this shade look more pink than red to anybody on my eye like it's red in the pan um either way it's a gorgeous shade it blended out like an actual dream um i'm forever obsessed with jeffree star shadows after using this palette and i cannot wait to get the cremated palette on friday because you know that i will be waiting in agony to get it So the shape that I create on my eye, I don't know 
how I decided this is what we were going to do. Um, but really, I just tried to drag it out um, past my brow bone just a little, trying to basically make it look like an exaggerated wing um, so that we could do a cut crease. Because I figured it's Jeffree Star, I might as well try and do a cut crease. I don't usually do them, so I figured let's go for it. All right, so then I took the shade Not A Fact onto a small pencil brush to kind of just deepen up that um, winged-ish shape um, so that we could give it a little bit more definition. And here's where all of the blending comes in. Um, I, on and off camera, did a lot of blending with this just because I wanted to make sure that it looked like a crisp and defined line because obviously it was going to be a cut crease so I wanted it to be a little defined um, but I also wanted the top part of it to still be really blended and smooth um, and not look super harsh so it was a really interesting battle, like, battle trying to get it to work the way I wanted it to. And then to actually do the cut crease, I'm gonna use that same NYX eyeshadow base and carve out that crease. Um, I would typically, you saw me just try and do it, um, put some onto my lid, look up, and see if it'll create a line. And that works a lot better with concealer than it does with this base, just because this base is a lot thicker than most of the concealers that I use, so it doesn't transfer as easy, which is great for an eyeshadow base, um, but not so fun for the trick that I love using. So, um, but it was just me trying to carve out that shape that was fun beyond all reason. So then we're gonna jump into the shade Food Videos and use that for our lid color. I don't know why this is the color that I chose other than probably because it's the reason that I started watching Shane Dawson was food videos. So when this color got decided, it became hands down my favorite color in the palette just because it was special to my heart. And then just picking up that pencil brush again, I'm just going to deepen the shade Not A Fact just so that line again looks a little bit more severe. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I felt a little bit like a drag queen, which is just my way of feeling like a bad bitch. So I'm down for it. Uh, this look was, is probably my favorite look I've ever done. You know the drill, pack color on, blend color out, repeat until you are satisfied. Literally the thought going through my head, do I dare? Do I dare add glitter and potentially ruin everything that I just fell in love with? We're doing it. black liner on my lash line and then we'll go off camera do the side and then we'll do base but I'm like high key obsessed
but it is gonna take all of my concentration to do, to replicate it on this eye. That's what we're finishing this off camera, just so that we're clear. Y'all don't even wanna know how difficult it was to try and keep this eye in frame. And that's why it immediately stopped. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this eye look, <laughs> which this is a lot for a casual Monday afternoon, not gonna lie to you, but I'm a lot, so. <laughs> um, I don't have any words. I don't have any words. Um, so let's do lashes and then we'll do base. Um, I could use a dramatic lash. I do have the Kiss Falscara lashes to try out with you guys, but I kind of want to do those on a much simpler eye look just because I don't want to get frustrated with how, with me not knowing how to put them on um, with a look that I am this obsessed with. So I'm going to do my tried and true. I'm going to do our Dell Demi Wispies um, and then we're going to do base. But, I mean, I'm freaking obsessed. Yeah. All right, first we're gonna do mascara. Like I said, I'm using the Art Del Demi Wispies. Uh, I can't remember exactly what mascara it is off the top of my head, but it will be linked down in the bottom bar. I'm pretty sure it's the NYX mascara. The newer one in the pink tube i don't remember what the name of it is but I, like i said it'll be in the bottom bar for you guys All right, so now that lashes are good to go, we're gonna move along into uh, our base. And to start out with, I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize with the Milk Makeup Vegan Milk Moisturizer. How many times can you say milk? Um, I really do like this moisturizer. It's a pretty thick moisturizer, um, but it really just feels good on my skin and underneath my makeup. It doesn't move around a whole lot, so I really do like that aspect. And then I'm gonna use my Florence by Mills eye cream. Um, I have really been liking this and if I used it consistently, I probably would see a difference in my under eye bags, but I'm not one for consistency apparently. So you get what you get. And then no surprise, we're using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, it's my favorite primer, a holy grail. I can't say any enough good things about it. OK, 
Okay, guys, I promise I'm going to start using more pr new products as soon as some of my orders come in, but I've been kind of limited to what I could just get my hands on. Um, so this is the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Foundation, and I will be using the same uh, concealer, the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Concealer, here in a minute. I am proud to say that the birthday excursion and the kayaking I just did do mean that this foundation does actually match my skin. Finally, it's no longer too dark for your girl. Do you have no idea how happy I am about that? All right, and we're gonna actually use a new product. This is a cream blush from Milk Makeup. This is the Lip and Cheek um, Duo from Milk Makeup. So you can use it as a lip product. I don't know how I feel about that just cause it's not my shade. Um, and then we're gonna go in with powder, I think it is. We're doing powder next. Yeah, I'm looking for a powder brush. We're doing powder next. <laughs> And then after we set our under eyes, we use the same Ofra powder as I pretty much always do because it's what I have. Um, we're actually gonna set our face with another new product. So this is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Blurring Powder Foundation. God, that's a mouthful. Um, I really do like this as an overall uh, powder for my face, as well as just on like a lazy, I need to run errands or I'm too, exhausted to put on an actual full face of makeup um, to go to work at the restaurant. This powder foundation has such good coverage, it's insane. Morphe bronzer in the Brontour shade Vlogger, as per usual. Too much bronzer, to be honest.
All right, and then we're using the Morphe Peach Blush Trio. I forget what the actual name of this is. I've had it for God knows how long. The label's fallen off the back, um, but this is my favorite blush trio of all time. I'm using the center one, which is the peachier of the two, and then the slightly more um, brown looking one. All right, and then we're just gonna throw a little bit of Flaming Hot and Not A Fact into our lower lash line just to kind of smoke it out and complete the look. The more I stare at this, the more I feel like this is some kind of blackberry lemonade kind of look, and I am here for it. This is how you know I really can't help myself. So I'm just taking the shade Ranch from the Conspiracy Palette again, and I'm just running that through my brow bone just to, you know, add a little bit of extra highlight. I told y'all I was feeling the drag queen vibes and I was just fully embracing it, um, especially since I knew I was throwing on a wig and channeling witch vibes later. So I was just going for the whole shebang at this point. Are pretty much done. I have highlight and lip to do, and I just don't know what lip color I want to do. It's probably gonna be this one just because it I think matches perfectly, but I could just get away with doing a nude lip. Okay. I'm gonna do a combo. So I'm going to do the ColourPop lip, um, lip liner in BFF. And we're going to take Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in Catherine. cross-eyed staring at your, at your lips trying to put lipstick on in these lights I I have to change the light bulbs in here again because I can't it's so dark on the side of my face I bought a selfie light and it just doesn't stay charged long enough to film with which is just sad truthfully and then I'm just taking my ColourPop so jersey gloss again don't know what color this is And then let's highlight. I'm gonna use probably Glow Getter. No, I'm gonna use 143 today. I don't feel like this one gets enough love ever. All right. 
And then really quickly, I'm just gonna take a little bit of the shade Ranch, the shade that we put in our brow bone, and put that just into my inner corner. Cause I just, I don't think it's missing something. I just feel we're already being extra. I might as well take it that extra step. <laughs> I'm gonna get dressed and we will do the outro. <laughs> okay, so I'm kind of feeling these vibes. Um, I might change into like a denim jacket or a flannel to actually go out. It'll probably be a denim jacket, but I'm digging the celestial like tarot card looking shirt. I really am. Um, but this is the completed look. We want a little witch vibes because we went a little like dramatic, so might as well go full drama in the most me way possible. Um, but this is the completed look. I am so impressed. This is the first Jeffree Star cosmetics purchase I've ever made. Um, and I am so impressed with the quality of his shadows. Like I always knew that they would be bomb because it's Jeffree Star and he's too extra for his shadows not to be fucking amazing. Um, he is a larger than life existence. So the fact that his shadows are so amazing only speaks volumes to who he is and how dedicated he is to his brand. Um, so hats off to you, Jeffree. I'm, in love with this palette i can't wait to make more looks with this and yeah uh let me know what you guys think of this look and what other colors and combos you would like to see me play with with this palette um i am for sure now after having played with these shadows for sure buying the cremated cremated palette that he just announced it's gonna be a jeffree star living situation over here for a while because we're living for these shadows <laughs> Um, but yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.